Hello, Claire here. Today, Jasmine and Elle are going on their honeymoon and I have been tasked to pack Jasmine's bag. I have no idea where they'll end up and I'm supposed to pack accordingly. That sounds manageable. Recomotion. Everything at the wedding went absolutely smoothly. Except for the incident we don't talk about. And now it's time for the honeymoon. They are traveling with the Carpet Tours traveling agency with which you never know where you'll end up, even if you think you know where you're going. So, how do you pack for such a trip? By imagining real and wild what-if scenarios. I'll start with one of the more realistic ones. What if they simply went to the most classic of honeymoon destinations, the beach. She would need something sweet and summery. So I let myself get inspired by flamingos and just went for it. All in pink, except for the dark teal flamingo shadow. Oh, they're kissing. And they almost make a heart. And a summer outfit without sunglasses? Ah, uh, not today. The sunglasses are the same dark teal as the flamingos, and the hairband is the same pink as the shirt. Cause color matching is essential. A good friend taught me that. Before I pack this and all of the other outfits, I'll put them on this repurposed fountain display stand. Basically, only so I can take a picture of all of them together. I want a memento. After the walk on the beach, she might fancy a swim. And since it's hard to swim better than a mermaid, I'll simply turn her into one. With golden fins and a swirly, bubbly pattern. Cause that's what mermaids do. Swirl and bubble. Right? I can only assume that she'd let her hair down underwater if for nothing else than for the cinematic effect. And what an effect she'll get with this hairpiece. I just keep getting amazed how gorgeous it looks in, well, all of the colors. Under the sea she might even meet Ariel and go shipwreck exploring. There, they could find the golden gauntlet of King Midas. You know, the one that turns everything it touches into gold. Time for the mermaid Jasmine to continue swimming in the fountain, for back on land, a Jasmine having fun, turning useless stuff into gold, and then donating it. To truly look the part of the new golden queen, I figure she'll need to wear a golden combo. The glued-on soul stone is there to break the goldiness a bit, and the sunglasses will protect her eyes from all of the extra shine that will now be with her. Y you know, because gold is very reflective. Never mind. When she gets bored of turning everything into gold, or she just doesn't want to worry about all of the paradoxes the gauntlet creates, she'll be free to parade as a peacock on a costume ball, where golden highlights are a must. I used a lot of stickers for this one to get the majestic look I was going for. If you look really closely, you can even see what a patchwork of stickers everything here is. Really elegant. All the golden swirls make the costume look completely over the top, but since that's what I was going for, it's great. You should always have an over the top outfit close at hand. You never know when you'll be invited to a ball or for a swim in the fountain. So better be prepared. What if Jasmine and Elle wanted to reenact their engagement scene? You know, without Jafar ruining it. She would need her lavender dress, with the glued-on sapphire, of course. 
And if Jafar happened to show up and send both lovebirds to a land of ice, she would need a warm cloak. So I'll pick her one. Well, there's definitely no denying she looks good in lavender. And we'll ignore that her belly is still showing. Or even better, let's assume it's a magical cloak that warms the wearer all around. Yeah, I like that explanation. I'll go with that. Now what if, and hear me out here, they went through a portal into a parallel dimension in which Jafar was the ruler. <laughs> they would need to be able to hide in plain sight. So, for example, she could pose to be Jafar's daughter. In an outfit very similar to his, she could just demand not to be taken prisoner. Mm -hmm. And everyone would believe her. Well, Jafar might not. Um, he would probably know if he has a daughter or not. Nevertheless, I feel she would even be eligible to enter the Best Red Snake Queen contest. Not that many participants registered for now, but I believe it's gonna be huge. I'll pack the outfit. Black and red suits her. On that note, with a completely red and gold attire, she could lose herself amongst the hordes of Red Jafar followers. What I'm worried with this disguise is that Jasmine and Elle are not going to be able to sustain it for a long time. They'll probably have to help an orphan at some point and that's how they'll get discovered. <sighs> Hence, a new disguise is in order. How about she puts on a, wait for it, carpet costume. Ha! <sighs> yes, I know it sounds silly, but here's the deal. No one will be expecting it, so no one will be searching for her in the carpet section. Duh! And look at this tiger in the back. Isn't he just roaring? Rah! If you think her bare arms would eventually give her away, <laughs> I've got you covered. Or better to say, I have her covered. And if you still don't believe this would work, here's the test. Where, where is she? She was just here a moment ago, and now I can't find her. The only problem with this camouflage that I can think of is that Carpet is also a known good guy, so uh, the guards might be looking for him too, after all. Oops! Um. So what if Jasmine and Aladdin switched their clothes? Jasmine could wear Elle's wedding outfit, just with a slightly smaller headwear. She looks amazing, as always but maybe too much like Elle. That would not be as helpful when they're both on the run. Hmm. How about I stop trying to turn her into one of her friends and just change her appearance? I figured I would dye her hair blonde and design the rest of the outfit to match. The blonde hair changes her so much. I kept the tealish blue elements she's famous for in the hope at least her friends would be able to recognize her. I also wanted her to feel good in what she's wearing and I think the right colors can help with that. Definitely another roaring outfit. Considering the rules of cartoon disguises, I don't see how Jafar could ever recognize her dressed like this. But, just to be completely on the safe side, I'll pack her a turn yourself into a genie kit. It consists of a tail, a superheroish tiara, cosmical superpowers, and an incidency living space. To be used only in emergencies. 
I may or may not have glued on this swirly and bubbly sticker here, convinced I had the mermaid tail in my hands. And then decided it looks good enough to not bother with the removal. At some point, a being a genie will probably lose its charm, but just deciding you're done with a genie existence might scramble the fabric of reality a bit and Jasmine might end up in a jungle having to care for little tigers. A tiger costume might prove to be the perfect attire for that occasion. The painted on fur and stripes almost look real, so I believe she'll have no big problems teaching the cubs how to hunt and eat and um, do tigery things. Oh, I really hope it doesn't come to this. I also forgot to make her a tail for this outfit, so... <sighs> but the costume is still so good! I'm confident she'll get to use it at some point during the honeymoon. So on to the stand it goes. Now for the really weird scenarios. What if they flew with the carpet so high they ended up in space? Or even on the moon? They would definitely need spacesuits. I try to model Jasmine's after the classic Lego spacesuits, but I couldn't resist adding in a second color. Completely monochrome just didn't fit a minute doll. Of course she gets a helmet, and once again we'll say it has a force field all around her head, so she'll be fine. No need to worry about her. So while they're taking the stroll on the moon, a blue police telephone box might appear out of nowhere and send them time traveling far into the prehistoric age. There, instead of Raja, Jasmine would probably be friends with a saber tooth tiger. She would wear a short skirt, have short hair, just practical things, and be called Betty. Or not. Who am I to say? Yearning for modern medicine, the newlywed couple might be tempted to go back to the box and jump forward in time. Not knowing what all of the controls are, they might miss their target and end up in Paris instead. For that occasion, I have a street performer outfit ready. The blue eyes are part of the costume. Hmm... She reminds me of someone. Do you know who? This was an adventurous honeymoon, but as all things, it too has to end. Let's try getting them back home one more time. They are back, but something's not quite right. Oh no, Jasmine ate a lot during this trip. What can we do? Oh, what if I simply change the hairpiece? Yes, that's it! She can add all of these outfits to her wardrobe, even the parts I didn't use. I bet there are many other spectacular combos I didn't get to explore here today. Maybe some other time? It seems a bit risky just leaving this gauntlet here without any security. This looks just like something I needed. <laughs> Until the next time you click on one of my videos, bye bye!